saw something this weekend that was just so exciting for me. I was driving, and I was driving with my husband and my granddaughter, and there's something that I love to do. And I don't know if you've ever done this before, but how many of you have ever ridden a horse? Has anyone here ever ridden a horse? Yeah, I, did you enjoy it? Was it fun? Yes, riding horses, are, it's just so much fun, but I don't have a horse. So if I ride a horse, are there places you can go to ride horses, though? If, have you ever seen those places? Okay, there's a place on the way up north to, it's by Wickenburg, it's called. Um, there's places where you can ride horses. And I saw a sign that was advertising riding a horse. And I was thinking, you know what, I really would like to do this with my granddaughter. Well, the, the prices of the, of the horseback riding was, it was $18 for children, which is a little pricey, but you know, it's kind of expensive. And then it was $32 for adults. So I was thinking in my head, and I didn't really want to stop my car and uh, you know, add it up or get out my calculator or my, my phone or anything. I'm just thinking in my head how much that's going to be. So I'm going to hand out, I'm going to give you something to, to kind of take a look at. And you're going to be given one minute kind of a think time. And then I want you to think about two different ways to that you could add that, those numbers together. If you, if you didn't have paper and pencil, if you didn't have a calculator, if you didn't have anything but the mental math, how would you solve it? Students are encouraged to think of multiple ways to approach the problem. During think time, it is important that students are not writing down their strategies. Teacher walks around examining how students are creating their strategies as a formative assessment. I did circles here and um, there's 18 plus 32 and there's 13 to 50 and on this one I did 18 plus 32 and like 8 plus 2 equals 10 so I put the 0 down here and then 1 in the 10th place and 1 plus Teacher chooses three students to share their strategies with whole class. These students are intentionally selected because they represent a variety of strategies. because she used counting by ones here also, just in a different way here. Um, again, if the number was bigger, if this number was 132, would you still write out all the numbers and add them together? Okay. And as for the accuracy, you said because you wanted to make sure you, you got them all? Okay. Could you use something, um, like on your desk you had, you had a number line and you also had a 100 board. Could you use a 100 board to do something like this also? 
it's different because she started with the <coughs> with the biggest number and mm -hmm. oh, I started with the with the lowest number. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, Michelle, you said that this strategy was called what? Using what? Place values. Just going to write that on here. Always just one way to solve it. No. no. Is there just three ways to solve it? Did all of you have different ways that you solved it? Yes. yes. Could we have ten different ways to solve it up here? Yes. yes. Okay. And there's a, there's many different ways that we could solve this problem. And we talked about also what if the strat and, and some of you asked questions. Does the strategy always work? And that's something to always be thinking about when you're doing mental math because what works in one situation might not work in another.